I don't know if you sat up and watched it, but I sat up until almost 2 a.m. and watched Fresno State upset UCLA in the Rose Bowl, 40 to 37, and it was a an absolute spectacle. It, it was the most incredible thing. Jake Hayner and what he did at the end of that ball game was so unbelievable. He was 39 out of 53, 455 yards, two touchdowns. Ronnie Rivers from Fresno, the running back that I've, that I've been talking about all offseason, man, 21 carries, 136 yards, two touchdowns. Fresno's wide receiver, uh, Jake Cro- or Jalen Cropper, excuse me, 14 receptions, 141 yards, one touchdown. Like, this team was on a mission. Like, we, we both picked UCLA because I thought they'd be able to run the ball and, and whatnot. Uh, DTR, no picks in this game. They they put up yardage as well, but they didn't put up near the yardage. They the didn't Fresno. finish. They, they, they absolutely finish. did not finish. Their defense looked like garbage. Absolute oh garbage in the, in the at the end of this ball game. And, and I don't know if that's because of Fresno Gary, or... Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm no, rambling. that's it. That's it. Fre- listen, Fre- Fresno Fresno's a much better football team on the offensive side of the ball than LSU. That's just the truth. Oh, yes. That's the truth. This, Fre- this Fresno football team is good. Me and you both said that. They were really good. We thought they had a shot to win this game. I thought it'd be closer than it was. But I, I kind of thought UCLA would would be in front, but always being pressed to keep scoring. Fresno got out early, and Fresno never, like, really trailed. They never lost the lead. Like, they just were always in control of this game. When they needed a first down, they got it. When they needed a score, they got it. It was un- unbelievable. Yes. It was It was so I, – I, I, I wanted to get in the bed early or earlier last night. I and wouldn't. It, it, no, I, I couldn't leave this game. This is the no. fourth quarter. So heading into the fourth quarter, we had a 26-17 to 17 Fresno State lead. And this is how it went. UCLA scores a touchdown with eight minutes left in the game to make it 26-24. And then UCLA scores 40 seconds later <laughs> to make it 30-26. to 26. And then you've got Fresno scoring with just under three minutes left to make it 33-30. to 30. UCLA... Scores with 54 seconds left to make it 37-33. And then UCLA allows Fresno to drive basically the length of the field, a 75-yard drive in uh, 40 seconds. Six plays, 75 yards, 40 seconds. And Jake Hayner is is in pain, and he's holding his hip, and he's always a folk hero at this point, man. (laughs) Listen, dude, you, you used the phrase... They allowed them. I don't. I don't think they allowed them to do anything. I think Fresno said, "We're taking this." Yeah. There, there's not a and there's not a damn thing you can do hey, about. Did it. you see the Twitter? Uh, the the tweet from Fresno State's uh, athletic department. No, I didn't stay. I was, as soon as this game was over, I crawled my ass in bed. It, it was. It, they had a picture of like the Hollywood sign, but with mm-hmm. everything gone except the L, and it said, "Thanks, Los Aww. Angeles." Like L O S S Angeles. <laughs> I mean, just fantastic social media stuff. They are trolling like crazy. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.